It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. I know he doesn't say it that way. Hello, everyone. We are at Star Wars Celebration Anaheim 2022. I'm Kim Horcher, and we got a special treat in the Lucasfilm Studios showcase panel where we got a sneak peek at a few of the upcoming properties that we're excited about. We got just a little bit, a teeny tiny tidbit of Indiana Jones 5 to tide us over until that release date, which was announced as June 30th, 2023. It all kicked off with Kathleen Kennedy introducing John Williams, who recently had his 90th birthday. And he came out and he played the theme for Obi-Wan for everyone for the first time. He went into his classic music, including the theme of a certain Indiana Jones, which of course beckoned Harrison Ford himself Indiana Jones came on stage and thanked his old friend and colleague John Williams very genuinely, very heartfelt. He got a little misty-eyed. It's a special honor for me to be able to congratulate John in his 90th birthday. It was nice to see some genuine love for his old friend and colleague there, what a wonderful guy he was. He said that his music follows him everywhere and he likes it. He did add that last part. He did show us something, a still from Indy 5. It showed our favorite archaeologist walking across a rickety bridge to an unknown magical MacGuffin that he will certainly be trying to put in a museum. We have almost completed the next Indiana Jones film, and I am really proud of the movie that we made. Just a little taste of what's to come. We do know that John Williams did do the music for it. It is nearly completed. And we will have that in front of our eyes in just a little over a year on June 30th, 2023. So at this point, details are pretty sparse on what will actually be in Indiana Jones 5. So what would you like to see? And why is it Mutt Ravenwood? Let us know in the comments and be sure to keep following us for more Star Wars Celebration coverage. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.